wants to be in heaven when he can be sending men to freaking hell? And it seems like Birmingham's hell isn't completely over. That's right, people. Thomas Shelby hasn't said his last words yet. And taking in mind how the last episode ended, the fans just can't stop talking about season 7. So stay with us until the end, as we have some really great information to share with you. On your feet, soldier. On your feet. Turn the fuck up, come here. People, listen up. This place will be under the same management by order of Peaky Blinders. For almost a decade, we were blessed with some complex but awesome characters, amazing storylines, as well as some incredibly memorable fights. From the hilarious quips to emotional declarations, the story follows Tommy Shelby's gang, the well-known Peaky Blinders, who got their name because of the blades hidden in the peaks of their flat hats. This gang ruled the streets of Birmingham during the period between the two world wars. We're watching this crew from 2013, and we still don't know if they're villains or good guys in the story. But before we start talking about the possible seventh season, let's jump into the previous season for a second. Tommy has been living on borrowed time for a very long time. The essence of the psychology of this character in all six seasons was that when he was sent to fight in the war in France, he never returned back. He accepted his fate there, he accepted his death, but he never got an ending like that. So ever since then, he's treated everything as extra. Anyway, his destructive mindset, especially in the last season, comes from a traumatizing incident he had in France, and Tommy believes that he's still on the battlefield, where he fights not just to survive, but to win. The last season is showing Tommy as a devil, completely morally corrupt, he escaped. He escaped everything, the fake diagnosis, the fascist, his family, and he escaped himself. Season 6 sent Tommy to hell, the place where he'd reckoned with his sins. Peaky Blinders ended with a bang after a series of twists, with the main character being diagnosed with a terminal illness, with his shocking family revelations and violence more than you could shake a fist at. As Conrad Khan would say, things are resolved, but they're also not really resolved, which is an accurate description of the season finale. After all, we can say that season 6 wasn't the beginning of the end, but the end of the beginning. The future of this show has always been a moving target. Even Knight himself said that he meant to discontinue the show after series 5 and then changed his mind. The last season was focused more on Tommy Shelby's personal demons in the period when he was dealing with the huge family losses and a list of enemies. Anyway, season 6 ended and Tommy is still alive. And we know that the initial plan was to make 7 seasons. But despite these plans, it seems like there won't be another season, at least not in the next 2 years. A number of factors led to this conclusion. We just felt that everything appears to be moving towards doing what I'm calling the end of the beginning, especially when Helen McCrory's death, let's finish the beginning and then go on to the movie. Then we'll see where we go with spin-offs, said Knight for Radio Times. It's not something that we wanted to hear, but as fans, we have something to look forward to. Before we put on our baker's cap and make chaos, the pandemic combined with the tragic death of our favorite Helen McCrory has definitely changed the plans. The movie is definitely on the top of the list now, and the studio is set to begin the production. Johnny, where are you? I switched the ticker like you said, Tom. Production is set to begin on the film in the coming months, although nothing is confirmed yet. We have a list of actors who we might see in the movie. One thing is certain, the two brothers, the pillars of the Shelby family, will be back. Stephen Knight had already confirmed that Cillian Murphy would reprise his role as Tommy in the movie, and knowing that Tommy is not Tommy without Arthur, most likely we'll watch Paul Anderson in the role of Arthur Shelby again. Could you imagine any picture with, with the fearless Ada? Of course not. Let's hope that Sophie Rundle will also be seen as Ada Thorne. Oi, I'm a Shelby too, you know. Put my freaking film back on. Yes, let's never forget Ada. Tom Hardy will also reprise his role as Alfie, the guy with the most epic quotes in the whole show. We'll probably see the gorgeous Anya Taylor as the sneaky Gina Grey. And who knows what the story of the movie will be? We might see Michael or John, maybe. Descend into the heavens right in front of us before our very eyes. Not to see this time. The epic story of the Shelbys running the lawless streets of 1920s Birmingham has captivated the whole world. Anyhow, the story of the real PQ Blinders is far less glamorous, which is understandable. They were smashing that like and subscribe button just as you should do if you haven't done so already. No, really. They were a street fighting gang born out of extreme poverty and actually this was the picture that plagued industrial cities in the late 19th century. 
Tensions between the existing Birmingham population and Catholic Irish immigrants were at the root of the violent slogging gangs. In this period, territorial gang violence was a hobby of the Victorian middle classes, and the celebrities in this time were criminals. The real Peaky Blinders were a well-dressed gang with flat caps, tailored jackets, silk scarves, and lapel overcoats. They were in charge on the streets of Birmingham for over 30 years in the period between the 1880s and the 1910s. Did you notice the difference with the show? In the show, they catch the time before World War II. So yes, these guys existed, but the show doesn't represent their real story exactly. They gained their power in society through violence, robbery, illegal bookmaking, racketeering, and the control of gambling. But whenever we mention their name, the first thing that comes to our mind is, how did the gang get that name, Peaky Blinders? Some people think that it's all because of the small razors on the peaks of their caps, which later on were used as weapons. That's one theory. On the other hand, the historian Carl Chin says that the name is a reference to the gang's elegance. The word peaky at the time referred to any flat cap, and blinders is still a slang word for good-looking people. While Stephen Knight confirmed there won't be another season for now, it seems like Peaky Blinders' feature will be a movie. The movie will be set during World War II, so probably will be some sort of continuation of the series. Talking to Radio Times, Knight said, I know what's gonna happen in those stories, and it's about a sort of untold story that happened in the Second World War, which Peakies are gonna be involved in. Season 6 ended with Tommy getting a fresh start, freed from his role as Peaky Blinders' boss, and released with his imminent death diagnosis. The season finale set up the movie completely. Jack Nelson is aware of his failed assassination, and very soon Gina will find out about her husband's death at the hands of the devil. Another threat to Tommy is the fact that Finn has also promised Duke he'll be coming for him. And last but not the least, Tommy has spent a lot of time reporting his dealings with the fascists to Winston Churchill, as a try to stop Mosley from rising in power. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the last season? Do you expect that the movie will be as good as the series? Do you think that there will be some spin-off series? Which characters that haven't been mentioned should appear? And what are your suggestions? If you like the video, like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss our next videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.